I want to take a look at strategy. So I'm going into the administrative building and boldly go to, this is a strategy I've had active for a little while. It adds 25,000 funds to science that is transmitted and recovered from new biomes and 100,000 funds for science transmitted or recovered from new celestial bodies. At least the new biomes piece of it, I was sort of suspecting this over time and I've had a couple of people in the comments confirm this to me, but um, I don't think this thing's doing anything. I think it's actually doing absolutely nothing. So it's just not working with Kerbalism. Um, it has to do with how Kerbalism transmits the science and stuff. It's just not seeing that we're getting new science. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cancel this strategy there that goes and of course that opens up more strategies for me one of the ones i want to get is pilot focus 2 the upgrade from pilot focus 1 what this does is adds a hundred thousand uh percent rewards to the tourism and giving aircraft purpose contracts so it doubles the rewards and all pilots perform as if they're one level higher than what they actually are. I think that's a great one. So I'm going to grab that. It cost me 65,000 curb bucks and 80 science. I can afford that. So boom. Uh, yes, no refunds. It says too bad. I want it. And the other one that I'm looking at, let me take a look at is, and I'm hoping this isn't a mistake. There it is. Local science three. Local Science 3 adds 150,000% bonus to KSC Science, 100,000% bonus to Kerbin Science. There is, the KSC Science doesn't matter because there is no KSC Science in Kerbalism, but I still got some science to collect around Kerbin. But the one I really like is minus 2% off science costs for research. If even that little piece of it works, I think that's worth the 50,000 Kerb bucks. Uh, for this guy, so I'm gonna grab that one. There we go. Okay, so there we go. That's happy there. I'm gonna close that and let's do. I think I'm pretty good. Yes, let's get into here and let's fly that Juno for that fly your first plane contract. Let's put the brakes on here, change our view to chase, SAS on, throttle up, and uh. Might as well collect a little bit of science too while we're while we're at this sort of thing. So Juno 2, we'll put this on data. Uh, I don't have all the science that's over the water, so I might as well go and grab that. There's nothing to collect here, so we're just gonna go. So uh, lights on, put the lights on, brakes off, punch it. Still not super duper happy with this plane. Okay, gently lift up. Gently lift up. There we go. Uh, these are too big here at the back. Um, but I don't have smaller plane parts. I think maybe my next thing to start thinking about is better plane parts. So we can build something that's a little bit more safe. <laughs> Get the Weasley engines instead of these little Juno engines. Okay, we should be, as soon as we're over the water here, collecting some science, and let's get our contract so we can see it too. There's our contract. I think we got water science to collect. If we don't, I'm just going to turn this around. Oh, maybe maybe I don't have water science to cur uh, water. Oh. This can't still be shores. All right, well, this is going to go quick. I go on info. We are flying low over the water. Okay, we've gotten all the water science. Okay, go. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Uh, let's turn around. We're just going to go around and go back. That's it. Um, that's all she wrote. A little waypoint there is Warrior King's flag. <laughs> In memory of Warrior King to always remind me to be careful with these planes. Alright. Okay, so this is going to be much, much shorter. That's good. Leaves us more time to devote to getting that orbiter going.
I think I think the other I gotta go to the highlands at some point in the mountains and collect science over those biomes. Slow down a little bit. Slowing down a little more. Didn't come in too fast. There we are. Okay, it should be a little this way. Okay. Oh, and he got nice shadow right under me. That always is nice. And boop. Breaking. We are gonna stop at some point. <laughs> Before we get to the end of the runway? Yeah, we are. I don't even have to land on the runway here. It says land and stop anywhere safely, so, but we'll land on the runway. And boink, there we go. Okay, contract complete. First contract of the day. All right, recover. should be a, what I really want to do oh we got a oh a strategy has changed oh for slot man I'm not gonna do the slot machine and we got our first plane okay good 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 let's get in here we got to build ourselves something that is the plan a two crude orbiter that's capable of doing some good let's get rid of our contract window Let's keep the checklist to the side here. So my new pro bodies, I got, well, like our new, I got the uh, lander can now. That is a two crewed lander can, obviously modeled after the Apollo program landers. I do, I do like it, but we're not landing on the moon. We have the Mark II command pod right there, capable of holding two Kerbals. And I have the two crewed uh, P one and you know since our last orbiter featured the onion capsule quite a lot and had a couple of these i'm gonna use the mark ii one here i think that's gonna be it so we're gonna slap a heat shield underneath it because it needs that let's get the important stuff out of the way first the bigger heat shield of course oh oh that just made my decision sorry i'm changing my mind i don't this is a must be is this 1.875 meters on the bottom or is it okay all right let's see yeah that's 1.875 meters on the bottom of that and i do not have a 1.875 meter heat shield my biggest heat shield is 1.25 meters so you're going back and we are going to use this one the two pod uh the p capsule that has a spot for two i do like what restock has added to these textures they made them these are really boring in stock but restock's done a nice job with the textures and i love that it puts the little pips on here so you know this one's got one we'll put this or two this one here has one because they are kind of honestly hard to tell apart and this fella has already uh a blader on it so i don't need to add in heat shield the whole thing's covered in a heat shield okay parachute right off the bat Will that do? That should do, I think. I think it should. I mean, how much mass is it? It is uh, 1.1 tons plus passengers, and this one is 1.8. So yeah, it should be fine with just that. Maybe we should test it at some point just to make sure, but should be good, should be good. Okay, that is that, that, that. And we can configure this so that uh you know what we'll configure it later what i really want is to have i want a, this thing to have about i'm gonna go for about a thousand meters per second now what do i got under payload or not a thousand i'm sorry about 2500 meters per second okay let's put on this little can here actually no you know what sorry i keep i keep changing my mind um this I like kind of better if you do this and you put on the interstage nodes you do that you got plenty of room to tuck in science and 
gizmos and batteries or whatever else and then you can just close it off by building the fairing and it's lighter than this is so I like it oh I also have a 1.8 okay I'm getting getting distracted that's what we okay let's start putting fuel on let's start thinking about that so if I put that on and if I put on a terrier engine this is just really roughly how much Delta V am I talking about 2134 I'd like it to be more I want more okay then let's think let's think let's think I don't have a bigger fairing no um I could I don't want it to get too long I don't know why I don't want it to get too long but I just not in the mood to get it too long what do I got for tanks I do have let's arrange these tanks by mass what if I got into this kind of a conflagration I mean it's gotta look good right I'm not sure if that's more or less fuel than what I just had. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. 2579 meters per second and 1.21 uh, thrust to weight ratio, which is perfectly fine. Okay, we need to we need to gear this thing up. Now, science is not going to be a thing for it, but I do have to make sure that life support works. If I get into configuring the pod, here it is here. We have two slots we can configure. One has to be the scrubber. Don't ever take off the scrubber, but I do want as well pressure control. So what this does mean is that this thing will not have um, a monoprop fuel cell because that's the third one. Um, I, I'm just gonna have to live with that and make sure that the solar is okay. Let's see, uh, let's put in also a hex probe body and this is just so that um, this thing can fly without a pilot I always think that's a good thing and let's stick on some solar panels and I think what I'm just gonna do is put this on six times symmetry just surround that I think that looks good okay and we're gonna go a little bit deeper than that yeah okay and let me see I did work out some stuff that I think this thing should need um electrical storage I, it doesn't need much I'd like it to have at least 250 I can see here it's at 240 already let's just stick on like one of these that's 440 electric charge this should do fine as far as generation goes oh let's add on because there are no reaction wheels in this thing some reaction wheels the bum, bum, bum. those are the big ones the small ones will be fine there we go and you want the reaction wheels to be as close as you can to the center mass that's gonna work out all right and uh, I think the generation is good communications I think I need to have just a single communitron on this thing let's just stick one so it comes out over here might move things around in just a little bit and da -da -da -da, I think that should be good um can hold two sample slots it won't need them 10 megabytes of cargo oh it has more than 10 megabytes of data storage because there's also a further two in there Really, I, I, I think I'm looking at the thing here. So what I do want to make sure, because these guys got to be in orbit for at least a week, is to make sure that, you know, they can survive you know, for a week in orbit. So let's get to, we'll see here, right now if I get to food, it says they got five days of food, and that's with two Kerbals in it. You want to make sure, because if you take this out, notice that food now goes to perpetual, because no Kerbals don't eat any food. So if you're checking consumables make sure you put it in a situation that uh, reflects what you're gonna have out there they need to have a week's worth of food um, five days I'm not gonna I don't want to cut it too finely either if I get into here I do have 
some food containers we can add on to this. There is this small life support box. For some reason it didn't grab it like that. And I also have this 0.625 meter container. Are they the same? This has 13 units of food. Oh, the small life support box is smaller. It's half the size. So this little box is half the size of this and I'm assuming half the weight. So this puts me up to 43, I don't need that much. 43 days of food this is ridiculous it's not a lot of weight so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tuck this right in here and this has food and water aboard I now have 18 days of food almost 19 and I have 15 days of water I'm not gonna mess with that they can have extra there's nothing wrong with having more oops let's make it orange so that, that works out okay. If I go any more, they only have five days of oxygen. So we need to add on a small pressurized tank to provide them with some extra oxygen. Slide that right in there. They are now up to 27 days of oxygen, 15 days of food, 18 days of food, 15 days of water. So I'm gonna take out a little bit of this oxygen Just so that stuff's in sort of the same ballpark. 16 days of oxygen, 15 days of water, 18 days of food. I think that's good. I'm going to put this container, container on the other side here. And I'll color that one green or something. Actually, let's make it orange too. Just help them stand out a bit. Okay, so... I'm thinking... This is okay now. If I just... You know what, if I take off the interstage nodes, there, I can just click that onto the bottom. It won't let me do that. Uh, it's being that way. Uh-oh, no, I've really messed it up. Oh no, that was a mistake. Okay, let's control Z backwards. <laughs> there it is. Um, Let's make, this guy the root part maybe that will help and then grab this and put it on there there we go and now take away the interstage notes that's a little bit better is that there seems to be a double there isn't there yes <laughs> all right okay and then what we'll do just to make sure this is nice and firm is we'll add in some strutty struts under structure I don't think these are necessary really, but I think they'll make it look better, so I'm gonna do it. Like that, and we can color these. There. That looks okay. We'll put some lights in there and stuff in a little bit too. Okay, and if we keep going down here, we're good for food, water, and oxygen. Nitrogen. The nitrogen is used to repressurize the capsule um as it loses air and also every time you do an eva it evacuates the air that's in this capsule and you need to resupply it as well there are five years worth of nitrogen assuming we do no evas but somewhere along here it should tell us unless they took it away how many EVAs we have available? I don't see anything that tells us how many EVAs we have available. You know what? It doesn't hurt to add on some nitrogen, so I'm gonna add on a little bit of nitrogen. Because when they do an EVA, that nitrogen will disappear, and I think it helps to just stick one in there. So, uh, that is going to be nitrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen. There we go. And now it says 16 years of nitrogen. Let's take out about half of it. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be fine. They're only up for a week. And what color is this one going to be? Green. There we go. All right, uh, I think that's it for the consumables. I do want to make sure, okay, reliability, we have, um, it should go 2.5454, what is this? Average case estimate 
for the whole vessel. 2.54 malfunctions per year. That's not bad. It's not going to be up for that long. Uh, nothing's up to high quality just yet. Redundancy. I like this redundancy thing. We have two means of attitude control. The reaction wheels and the engine. We have six means of power generation because of all the solar cells. We have only one means of communication. That's not a big deal. Only one means of life support. So if the life support breaks in here, yeah, we're in trouble. Maybe that is a good reason enough to actually put the habitat up to high quality habitat just for that. You do get a life support module unlock later. I don't have it yet. So I think the fact that life support, there's only one life support and landing the only, yeah, that's the parachute. Um, parachutes don't fail. It should be fine. Uh, what is our Delta V at still? How's our Delta V gone up so much? So it really can't be that high. Really? That seems excessive. It seems like it's gone up. I think it's confused. Yes, here we're only seeing 2390 meters per second. I don't think... I'm not quite sure what something in this has got it confused. So I'm ignoring Kerbal Engineer. I don't think it's right, but I do think this is right. 1.15 thrust to weight. I don't like that I only have one engine on it. That is something I'm not a fan of. Let's see if we can do something better with the engine situation. Because if this engine fails and they're stuck in space, that's going to be a bad time. So this engine has 60 kilonewtons. Uh, I could, I don't want to get into, these are more, no. Oh, I now have the Poodle engine, that'll be overkill, that's not necessary. But, I did have, on the other rocket, the Pug engine. That gives me better Delta V, too, it's 2616. And then what I did is, I had ant engines tucked in here and I kind of liked how that ended up working out. I put ant engines on three-way symmetry and all that together has a thrust away. Ooh, it's pretty low. What if I go six-way symmetry on the ants? Thrust to weight is 0.49. That's still too low. Shoot, this isn't going to work for me. Okay, so what? here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll put the this back on. Let's change the textures around a bit. We'll go with a minimi minimalist textures. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my only RCS things I have are these linear RCS ports. And I'm going to stick on hmm, I'm going to stick on six of them for now. And really these are just backup propulsion now I'm not sure I can get from Kerbal Engineer I know it has an RCS setting but yeah it never seems to work for me I don't know why it does but I do have RCS build aid there it is right here this is a great one when you get into designing RCS for controls but what I can do is just look at the engine, center mass, and thrust. It has a 0.28 thrust to weight ratio. And for an emergency situation where you just got to get these folks down, um, I think it'll be fine. In fact, I think I can get away with less of these. What happens with four of them? That's still 2.8? How does that work? Okay, I'm, I'm getting confused because it keeps saying the thrust away is still the same. Uh, let's see, references that. Engines, parachutes, translation, attitude. They've changed the way this works a little bit on me. I'm getting confused. Okay, here. Direction right, left, up, down, forward. It says six kilonewtons. With a mass of about close to six tons. So that'll be a thrust waste ratio of about 0.1, I think. I'm just finding it weird how if you put it on engines, 
I don't think this is right. And I'm not quite sure why. Okay. I think I'm going to go with four of them. I think that'll be fine. And again, this is backup propulsion. Now, oh, I know what's probably confusing the situation. <laughs> I know what it is. Let's put this back on forward. There ain't no monoprop on this vessel. <laughs> there is no monopropellant on this vessel. Uh, see, the delta V is zero because there's no monoprop in this this thing here. So what I'm going to do is put on some monopropellant. These are two little cans here. Oh boy. Okay, we're going to start that again. <laughs> Let's try two-way symmetry for now. Oh, that only gives me 26 meters per second of delta V. I'm not sure this is a good plan. I Okay. Bad plan with these engines. I'm not going to do this. I'm going back to the ants. Because the ants use the same fuel. And what we'll do is not use the ants. That's a better plan. And then I got all that fuel. That that makes way more sense. Yes. Actually, why not throw them in there if I'm going to use them? Sure, we can have more dill. There we go. So I'm going to go back to the ants as a backup engine. That that looks better. Okay, let's turn off RCS build aid. I was too eager to get into monoprop. Oh, I do want monoprop though. Because the monopropellant is used for EVA propellant. So we'll go back to using, putting on two of them. There. And we'll tuck these in. All right, um, again, this is lying to me. I think this is right, 2282 meters per second of delta V. I would love it to have a smidge more fuel. What if, put on some of these hemispherical ones. I don't think it's counting it. Oh, it is. It's just not that much. I wanted to get around 25... Six of these? Ooh, that's not much. Okay. Uh, how about these baguettes? I want that many. Okay, it's not going to look like that, but I, oh, there we go. I want to get up over 2,500 meters per second. Oh, I just don't like where these are ending up. Let's try this again. It's a little on the big side. They are monstrous. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Coyote, for that generous donation. Here's my one time commitment worth getting up early for. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm just gonna change it to here. I just want to tuck these in a little bit better. I'm not sure I'm a fan, but I think I'm not in a position. You know, it might work better. How many? How much fuels in these things? Ah, it used to tell you how much fuel. Now everything's confusing. Okay. Um, I could do that, or I could simply like stick in something like this. Well, these guys are hemispherical and they're bigger. Oh, they're huge. What if I just put in something like this? That's smarter. Let's not. This, that's That works perfectly fine. That works perfectly fine. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go with the, all this kind of darky color. There we go. There we go. We got that. We got a thrust to weight ratio 1.12. I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm ignoring this because I don't know why it's so confused. Uh, let's go through our checklist. I know I'm missing lights, but I'm just thinking what else. So fine print of contracts. I should be checking that over. So if I go back to our contracts here, 
The Kerbal Academy flight contract. This is... Oh, we can delete some of these, but we'll delete those later. This is for... What is this thing? This is the... But naming them after engines. So this is the Terrier. 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 1-A3 for the ant engines. There we go. Okay, back to here. So this is the Terrier. 1-A3. Create the mission. And we're going to orbit for a week. That's for this craft as well. Maybe not all the same mission. We're going to do some rescues. Oh, I just hid him. I didn't mean to hide him. Uh, rescue Michael O. Add that. And rescue Michael A. There we go. So let's go back to here. This thing also sh will have the Delta V to get both Moon and Minmus orbits. So it should be pretty good. Okay, so advanced piloting, just a 45 degree plane change, has to have Jebediah board. Orbit for one week. Make sure there's nothing tricky here. Nope, be up for seven days. Bring them back. And the rescue contract. So, okay, fine print is fine. Control is fine. Cabin space configured. Uh, how about those? Oh, no, there's actually backup reactors. There's two sets of reaction wheels because there's reaction wheels in the probe body. I've done the cabin space. I've looked at food, water, and oxygen. Waste we won't worry about. Uh, radiation protection I'm not going to worry about, but not for this one, but perhaps in the future. Science is kind of irrelevant. We've collected all the science we got. Power generation is good. Electrical storage is good. Antenna strength is good. Antenna speed is good. Data storage is fine. Propulsion is fine. RCS is irrelevant. Parachute, right? There's a parachute up there. There it is. <laughs> Thermal protection is fine. There's a blader on there. Lights will get to. Upgrades. I think I'm okay. All I did was upgrade. The Terrier is 23 ignitions with the backup ants. I don't think I need to upgrade the engine. Maybe I'll upgrade the engine. What happens to my Delta V if I upgrade the engine? Upgrade the engine. That gives me 42 ignitions. And it only knocks off, well, it knocks off about 16 meters per second off the Delta V, but that's okay. Uh, so upgrades I've dealt with. Cargo. Check the cargo. Are there no Kerbals in here yet? I don't think it needs it. No, the cargo's fine. We're fine. Uh, thrust the weight's fine. Fairing deploy we'll deal with in just a little sec and staging we'll look at in just a little bit. Okay, I think we're on to something here. I'm just now playing with textures. You always know you're closing in when you start playing with textures. I think it's better that way. All right, lights. Let's add on some lights. So lights are always important. We got the little spotlights. I'm gonna use the little spotlights to just light up this interior part. Oh, it doesn't like me sticking them on there. Shoot. Okay. We're going to have to put them on here. Four-way symmetry on the lights, I guess, like this. And pitch angle. I'm going to angle them in just a little bit. i got to rotate them, too. I can see that. You're going to be that way, aren't you? 90. Yeah, stinker. There. <laughs> All right. Uh, they're not going to blink or anything. I think that should be good. Actually, and let's put on another group of four up here. I think so. And pitch angle. We have to make it look good. Aim them as far down as you can. Yep, yeah, I think that's good. Uh, there, that one, yep. And these are just going to be light or white. Gray is good. Actually, I think I'm actually going to pitch these back a bit now that I'm looking at them. Yeah, we'll see how it looks like once we get it up there. 
All right, so that's those lights. We need navigation lights. Um, this is the top, so this is the right side here. Go there, two-way symmetry. Ah, that window's in a bad spot. I guess it'll be here. I don't like it there. Okay, we're covering the window a little bit. Too bad. <laughs> we're going to, let's get rid of the contracts. Uh, this one is going to be green. Um, I guess it's going to be white like that. And it is going to blink. Put the blink on, put the blink period down to half a second. And thank you very much in the super chat for, I'm sorry, uh, Eichens, uh, Eichson from the Venya. And if I, if I, uh mispronounced that I, I I apologized thank you very much for your support RIP warrior king yes okay let's remove the symmetry on this one because this one's gonna be red blink on blink on there we go blink on now that one has to blink on. Okay, I don't know what happened there. And two more red lights, or red and green lights, down this way. Where am I going to put I'm going to put them here. We'll spin them around the other way. There we go. These ones won't blink. Uh, this one has to be green, and then we'll remove the symmetry, I think. Yeah, I think it's better with the dark. And then the other side is going to be red. And this is something, I don't know. I'll be honest. Um, perhaps one of my favorite sci-fi shows of all times is The Expanse. And there was just this scene where they lit up a ship. And at the back end of the ship, um, they had all these little red lights. And it looked cool. And I'm not trying to say that this will look as cool as a ship like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick on any kind of a ship now that's carrying people or kerbals. I'm gonna stick just a line of red lights like that on the back, just to help light them up. That is red now, I think. Yep. And then finally, let's see. Now finally, we want to put one blue light right above the hatch. Especially with this one where it's so hard to know exactly where the hatch is. That looks good. And that one's going to be blue. No blinkies. And we're going to put on the... This would be the ventral side. I'm going to put a pair of lights. One facing forward. And one facing backwards. And this is something I've just gotten into this. I don't think it looks bad to double these lights up like this. Move this up like that. Like that. And this one is going to be an amber light. Just make it a little bit more on the orange scale. Half second interval, blink on. And this top one is going to be a white strobe, but the blink interval right down link on and I think I'm gonna call it I think I'm gonna call it that that is our ship all right oh how did I end up with shoot I need oh, oh oh yeah oh no this has still got less fuel in it ah I ended up with 2384 I really want this to be just over 2500 let's add just a little bit more fuel hopefully I can do this without it costing too much. Two cans. Got into adding stuff. Four cans. Okay, and then maybe two more cans here. I know there are lights. Can't have the lights in the way of the fuel. Okay, 2487 is close enough. What happens if I, can I change the color of these? It's white, that's dark. Is that the only two options I got? It is. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll text them in a little bit. There. Just 
tuck him in a bit. Ah, we can live with that. It's all right. Maybe make this background one then a different color. I like the dark though. Yeah, you stinker. All right. Uh, bump, 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 bump. Yeah, I think this is good. Now, what I want to do before we do this for realsy, I think I think I'm good. I got lights on there. We'll check the fairing deploys in just a little bit. Um, there's not much to worry about with staging. I'm going to actually disable this fairing. Where's the disable the fairing thing? Take the, uh, there, fairing stage. Take that off.